In this video, we are going to learn about the non-Mendelian inheritance pattern called incomplete dominance. As I stated, this is what we would refer to as a non-Mendelian inheritance pattern. The reason it is called that is because the parental F1, F2 cross that we've seen before and the F2 does not exhibit the 3 to 1 ratio that Mendel observed when he looked at completely dominant and completely recessive traits. Incomplete dominance occurs when alleles are not completely dominant or recessive. What happens then is the phenotype of the F1 hybrids or hybrid is in between the two parental phenotypes. Let's look at an example. In flowers known as carnations, incomplete dominance is evident in their color. Carnations can be red, they can be white, they can also be pink. Now there are other colors that carnations can be, but these three colors exhibit the incomplete dominance inheritance pattern. If we identify alleles, we're going to use a little bit different notation than we've seen before. We we'll use a big C for color, and then we'll have an exponent or superscript with an R, which will give us the red allele. By contrast, we have a capital C with a W for the white allele. Okay? An individual who is red has both red alleles. An individual who is white has both white alleles. Now how do we get a pink individual then? Well, let's do a cross and find out. If we do a parental cross between a red and a white individual, you'll notice that in the red individual, the only gamete it can donate is going to have a red allele. By the same token, the only gamete the white individual will donate is going to have a white allele. So therefore, our F1 will be a hybrid. This individual is pink. It possesses one red allele and one white allele. Now what happens when we cross two pink individuals? Well, we'll use a Punnett square to find that out. We put, the pink, white, or the, put one pink individual on the top and one pink individual on the side. We cross the two red alleles a red and a white allele, another red and white allele, and two white alleles. Notice what we get. We get one red individual, we get two pink individuals, and we get one white individual. This gives us a one to two to one phenotype ratio that is different than what Mendel observed when he observed traits that were completely dominant and completely recessive. 